Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. So, do you need to be flexible in order to start Jiu Jitsu? This is one of the main excuses that I get from a lot of people saying, Oh, I will do martial arts, but I'm just not flexible enough. But do you really need to be flexible in order to start? Now, when I first started Jiu Jitsu, I couldn't even touch my toes. And I'm not saying like I was close, if I bounce up and down a little bit, I might better touch him. I mean that my whole hand could not go past my whole knees when I tried to touch the floor. I was super inflexible. I spent so long working on the computer that I was starting to get a hunchback even though I was like 20 years old. Now the thing is, no, you do not need to be flexible to start Jiu Jitsu. But being flexible has a huge advantage and can help a lot with your game and decreasing the risk of injury. Now if you're starting Jiu Jitsu somewhere like 10th Planet, somewhere that has like Eddie Bravo where you tangle your own body into itself and tie yourself in a knot, then not, not, being, not being flexible and not having the ability to move like that may be a little bit of a struggle and may limit you to what you can do in that sort of program and that type of Jiu Jitsu. But for general Jiu Jitsu, you can start quite simply without being flexible. Now I saw a podcast once before a while ago where Eddie Bravo was saying that he had one of his students come in that was so unflexible and made sure that he stayed back after class an hour every session and stretched his butt off when everyone else went home and by the end of the year he was doing splits like a pro so even though you're not flexible to start you can progress into becoming more flexible but if it's not like you're flexible or you're not and that's your categories it's you're not flexible something that you can work on and you can become really flexible now being flexible for jujitsu has its advantages of course there's a lot of positions that you can do that other people can't do you can make guard passing a lot harder for someone you can get people out of positions easier because you can wrap your legs around their neck and you can tangle them up with your feet and whatever the hell you can do with your flexibility and you're in a full split instead of getting a groin lock and an electric chair so it has its advantages but it's not a limiting factor now it does decrease the risk of an injury the more flexible your hips are the less likely you're going to get your t your groin torn your knees your knees torn out your shoulder your elbow things like that so the more flexible the better but it doesn't mean you need to be flexible to start so thank y'all for watching my video if you have that friend that keeps saying oh i would do this sport but i'm just not flexible enough then tell them to get their butt on the mat because they don't need to be that flexible to start you can get flexible while you're doing it so thank you guys for checking out my video any questions that you have please let me know in the comments below and in the meantime keep being strong happy and healthy and press that big red subscribe button just hanging out right there. I'll see you guys in my next video.